Let's Talk 398039, called a story about how I let my busty ex-girlfriend stay over and got milked dry in return. What the fuck are these titles now? It's from the artist Fugutaka. And as interesting as that title may seem, it's a pretty wholesome read. So let's jump right into it. The story starts out with someone purchasing some cigarettes, food, and a soda. The same person is our main character, who looks fly as fuck as he walks away from a store. But as he's talking to himself about how he needs to get up early, someone recognizes him. We see who was calling for him. It was some girl who thinks that you forgot her. But alas, he didn't. Yu asks Ayo why she's out so late. She was out at karaoke with some friends, because there isn't one in their hometown. He was out so late because his job is far and today wasn't usual. But Aya brings something up. Brings up that walking around like this reminds her of when they were dating. Yu acts a bit shy, which ends up with him getting hit, but he tells her to just stop following him and go home because her house is far. About that though, she wants to stay over. The buses aren't running at that time and the train station's far and she doesn't have money for a cab. There's really no one else she can rely on. Yu tries to make up an excuse, but it doesn't work because it's a request from his quote unquote cute ex-girlfriend, which is harsh of her to say herself. So she begs him, saying she'll thank him properly and then guilt trips him, saying bad things might happen to her and ultimately he caves. It cuts to his place where Aya is coming out of the shower and while she was in the shower, Yu cleaned. He offered up his futon to her and he'll go sleep somewhere else. Aya just straight up says that they should sleep together, because the only other spot is the floor which Yu is fine with. She's offering because he's the one that let her stay there. He's just against it because she isn't his girlfriend anymore. And after a bit of quote unquote persuading, they end up like this. He can't sleep though, cause she's right there. And then she starts to reach down there because she did say she was gonna thank him properly. I don't need to explain what happens next, but it cuts to you waking up saying he's gonna be late for work. Aya says he should just take the day off. He really can't do that because of his boss. So she just says he should take a shower. Yu tells her to lock the door and leave as he's heading out. And so it cuts again to later that evening with someone complaining. It's you again, complaining about how his pee pee is itchy and hurts. His boss and co-workers even asked if he got a girl because he smelled. But as he itches, he decides to go home and just get a cup of noodles for today. As he's walking though, he sees a Christmas tree, also thinking that the girl really chose a good time to come. <laughs> he wonders if she went home and checks under the pot where the key should have been. And he opens the door to see Aya still there half naked, and he gets dragged inside. You know what happens next. Besides this, of course. They finish up and it cuts to them in the bath. The truth is, she didn't come. <laughs> she didn't go there to hang out. She heard rumors that he was living on his own, and she gives us backstory about you. He left their hometown to work and dumped Aya because they wouldn't be able to see each other. She just couldn't forget about him, and she dated a few guys who just wanted her body, or they were control freaks who beat her. If it was you though, he would have treated her more importantly and kindly. She tried calling him, but his number had changed, so she heard that he was living in this area and ditched school to find him, and that's why she didn't go home. Aya asks if they should go out again, which you broke up with her not because he didn't like her, but because they wouldn't be able to see each other. But he's cool with it if she is. She freaks out and starts talking about the future, and she's so happy that she wants to multiply without a calculator. And the dojin ends. Overall, I rate this a 10 out of 10. I love the story it sets up and the realism of the whole story. And it's pretty good. I recommend you check it out for yourself as always. But that's all I got. I'll see you in the next one. Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul. These hentai babes make me drool. Hasune Biku is great. She makes me Master Bait, Fairy Tale.